All right, guys, let's see what 800 horsepower really feels like. Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm here with my good friend Mario, and today we're gonna to talk about his 1992 Bimini Blue Fox Body Mustang. Now, you know, Mario, every time I see this engine bay, I swear it's like the first time and I'm just blown away. <laughs> and considering that this car took first place at World of Wheels in Chicago, I think a lot of other people are gonna agree with me. But I, I know you didn't buy this car like this, so let's start from the beginning. How long have you owned this car? Uh, I'm going on 13 years now. 13 uh, years. And it, it obviously, you didn't buy it like this. So no, no, obviously not. Um, what condition was the car when you bought it? Was it still the factory 302? Yeah, it just it had a factory 302 in the car. The paint was immaculate. I mean, I really didn't have to do anything with the paint. Interior was spotless. Um, pretty much the only thing I really had to worry about was building an engine, building a rear end, and, you know, keeping it clean. Now this engine bay seriously in my opinion is the cleanest and most impressive that i've ever seen in a fox body mustang i don't see any holes back here so let, let's just talk about the engine bay real quick before we start talking about the motor um no air conditioning and no heat right <laughs> yeah no okay air conditioning, no heat. in order to do that firewall like that you had to do that now brakes Manual brakes also. Manual brakes, okay, no keeping steering. it nice and clean. You've got no power steering. Just plain and simple. When I bought the car, it was already gutted. Uh, they pretty much, they went to the drag strip all the time with the car. Clean body, just they went to the, to the strip. Gotcha. So at that time, I just kind of ran with it. And, you know, it's been like that ever since. It's like just been a, a progression over the years. Does it bother me? No. Now the older I get, do I want AC? Yeah. Absolutely. But, uh... It's gonna stay the way it is. Awesome. So. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's talk about the motor here. This is not a factory 302. Uh, this is a 347 Dart. Dart Sportsman Block 347, nine to one compression. Uh, Victor Junior heads, 210 CC, straight out of the box. They're not ported or polished, nothing. Um, Vortec intake with the Vortec supercharger YSI. Okay, the YSI is the V, uh, the V7. V7. That's the race blower, right? Yep. How many pounds of boost on this blower? Uh, 18 pounds of boost. The setup for 21. Um, Joe from AJ Performance tuned the car. Okay. Um, we rubbed it up to seven grand, uh, seven grand, and made 800 horsepower to the wheels exactly on E85. Did you guys hear that? 800 horsepower at the wheels on E85. Amazing. So it's got a Holly HP uh, standalone setup, coil on plugs. Okay, let's stop right there. Um, I know what I know what that is. I know what the coil on plug is. But let's for the people that don't know exactly what that is, let's explain why there's no distributor and there's no wires going where the distributor is supposed to be. So so what's going on with the ignition? So instead of having a distributor, now you have individual coils that run. You know for per cylinder now obviously it's better for fine tuning um you can you know eliminate misfires a little bit easier and let's see you've got so i mounted the coils the coil brackets with the coils onto the k member on both sides there's plenty of room just gives it a little bit of a cleaner look uh coil brackets are for maven performance still a five-speed car tko 600 it's been built let's take a look at the rims and tires on this car uh, Mario, what rims are these? Because I've never seen any like this before. Uh, these are from BC Forged. Um, the style is LE72. Um, obviously the black lips with the gunmetal centers and uh, the hyper color bolts. I got they ARP, they're two piece forged wheels. Um, now this, yeah, let's check, the out the, let's check out these rears over here. So the rears are 18 by 10s with a four and a half backspace. Um, it's not mini tubbed. It is not mini tubbed. Okay. What size are these rear tires? So these are 305 35 18s. 305 35 18. Nick and his crew over at uh, Streetcar Shenanigans. Streetcar Shenanigans. <laughs> narrowed uh, my diff two inches from each side. Okay. Had it powder coated. 
straighten the tubes out um, strange axles it's got a spool in it um, everything on the car is from UPR suspension UPR K member control arms rear coilovers uh, Viking coilovers um, Pro Street anti roll bar, everything's from UPR. Okay, I'm gonna try and get a get a sneak peek under the car in a minute. Let's talk brakes though. I know you've, you're running uh, manual brakes, but uh, you do have rear disc, obviously with the car with the internal horsepower. Uh, what's the brake setup on here? Uh, the brakes are four piston calipers from aerospace components all the way around. Uh, they're the vented vented kit for the street. They work out. They work pretty well. So. Let's take a look at these fronts here. Let's take a look at the fuel system here. You're going to have to help me out here because um, I don't know exactly what we're looking at. I know this is a fuel cell, but what's going on back here? So it's a 15 gallon fuel cell. Obviously there's a whole square hole that goes through the tire where the spare tire used to be. Magna fuel pump, pre and after fuel filters. Um, that's a Magna fuel 750 fuel pump. E85 run through the lines, uh, dash 10 all the way up, and dash 8 feet, and then a 6 return. So what do you say we take a look inside the car? Okay, so first thing I see is a roll cage here. Uh, you want to talk, I don't know much about these, so you want to tell me a little <laughs> bit about it? So it's a Maximum Motorsports six-point cage. It's a bolt-in cage. Fits really nice. I've had it in the car for a very long time. Uh, this bar swings out, right? So swing out, swing out door bars. So it's nice. Obviously, you can remove them. Yeah, in and out real easy. Um, Corbel seats with the matching rear uh, overlays for the seat covers. LMR, obviously, cup holders. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. And uh, okay, so gauges. You've got uh, what gauges are these? Auto auto meter so gauges. Yeah, these are the auto meter gauges with the uh, Florida 50 uh, carbon fiber look bezel. So. Okay, and uh, you know, for for some people that uh, haven't seen your car before, uh, you just put the uh, factory dash back in this car. This used to have the SN. Yeah, so I had a SN95 dash that was wrapped uh, wrapped and stitched by a good friend. Uh, his name was Brandon. Had the vents all shaved custom you know eliminated all custom wrap stitched french stitching through the center console through the yeah, dash yeah um just time I, for a change i just can't leave anything alone and, uh, the <laughs> idle more... idle hands are the yeah. devil's playground when your car is never done and when it's done <laughs> you start looking for stuff to do um i just uh the more and more i saw like an all black clean fox dash i fell in love with him even more again and it was time to put the dash back in awesome rewired everything back on behind the dash again since it gave me anxiety I had to clean it up <laughs> so since um you know we were doing a coil on plugs and i had to wire everything in that was the perfect opportunity to switch back to the fox body dash perfect perfect so, yeah i know what that's like it's as soon as you take things apart you're like well while i'm here i yeah. might as well do this yep. yep yep and i'm going through the same thing right now with my uh five lug uh you know disc brake setup on my car so you start replacing things and it's a perfect opportunity to do that oh yeah so mario what rear end gear do you have in this car uh 355 gear um with a spool so you got to tell me what that means because I am not as technically <laughs> advanced as you are. What does that mean with the spool? So a spool is pretty much like almost like a locking diff. Um, both there's no posi, so it's just both wheels are spinning pretty much at the same time. Awesome. Um, not the greatest around turns, but uh, you know it's, it's not been, a track car, right? It's, not, <laughs> it's been in the car for a good eight years now, so I, I'm used to it. This is the most exciting part for me. What do you say we go for a ride?
800 horsepower really feels like. Guys, we were just about to wrap up, but Mario pointed out another feature that I completely forgot. Check out this front splitter. And Mario, who makes this splitter? So it's made by uh, Maker's Garage. Maker's Garage. And is that real carbon fiber? Yep, those are, that's a real carbon fiber splitter um, from Maker's Garage. Jason from Maker's Garage makes amazing products. And then also, uh, I completely oh. missed this one too. This yeah, is a so, pinch weld cover? Yeah, the carbon fiber uh, pinch weld covers. They they also make them in the uh, ABS material and also the carbon fiber. True carbon fiber. True carbon fiber, that's real. That is not just some plastic. Very cool. All right guys, we're gonna wrap things up. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. This was my first time actually going for a ride in this car, and I gotta tell you, 800 horsepower, this car is the real deal. <laughs> if you guys have any questions or comments about the car, please post them down below. Mario and I will do our best to answer them for you. If you guys like the video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.